Media caption Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Now is the time to take action, Michael Gove says it is his fervent hope that England's new lockdown will end on the 2nd of December, but ministers will be guided by the facts. We do need to get the R rate below 1, the cabinet office minister told the BBC's Andrew Marshall. The strict measures are due to come into force from Thursday. Pubs, restaurants, gyms, non-essential shops and places of worship will close, but schools, colleges and universities can stay open. The Prime Minister is expected to deliver a statement in the Commons on Monday ahead of a vote on the latest restrictions on Wednesday. Labour has indicated it will back the lockdown. Boris Johnson said he expects the lockdown to last until 2 December, after which England's regional tiered system would be reintroduced. But Mr Gove told the programme that decisions would obviously be guided by the facts. He said ministers believe, on the basis of the evidence that we have that we will be able to lift restrictions by the 2nd of December, but stressed that we do need to get the R rate, the number of people that one infected person will infect below one. Mr Gove added that we do need to be vigilant and said the reason why you need to take these steps is because of the danger of the NHS being overwhelmed. Earlier, he told Sky News the lockdown could be extended beyond the December deadline. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer told the BBC there would be no effective exit on 2 December unless the government uses this time to fix test, trace and isolate. He has called for the lockdown to stay in place until the infection rate is below 1. Under the new restrictions, people will be told to stay at home except for specific reasons these include work which cannot be done from home, childcare or education, exercise outdoors, medical reasons, essential shopping, providing care for vulnerable people or for volunteering, and visiting members of your support bubble meeting indoors or in private gardens will not be allowed, but individuals can meet one other person from another household outside in a public place non-essential retail will close, but can remain open for click and collect delivery pubs, bars, restaurants will have to close, but can still provide takeaway and delivery excluding takeaway of alcohol indoor and outdoor leisure facilities, such as gyms and swimming pools, will also close, along with entertainment venues and personal care facilities such as beauty salons places of worship will close, unless they are being used for funerals, to broadcast acts of worship, individual prayer, formal child care, or essential services such as blood donation or food banks construction sites and manufacturing workplaces can remain open weddings and civil partnership ceremonies will not be able to take place except in exceptional circumstances, and funerals will be limited to a maximum of 30 people children will still be able to move between homes if their parents are separated clinically vulnerable people will be asked to be especially careful, but people will not be asked to resume shielding overnight stays, staying in a second home, and holidays will not be allowed, including in the UK and abroad, although there are exceptions, such as work trips people will be told to avoid all non-essential travel by private or public transport asked whether the government would face a choice of either closing schools and ending the lockdown earlier or extending the lockdown in order to keep schools open, Mr Gove said ministers want to keep schools open. He added, I don't believe it would be that case, but I do believe that we want to keep schools open and I believe that the measures that we are putting in place will enable us to do so. Sir Ian said the Scientific Advisory Group for Emergencies SAGE, had pressurized the government into taking this decision, with its members publicly lecturing the government. Meanwhile, the chief executive of the British Retail Consortium, Helen Dickinson, and the chief executive of the New West End Company, Jace Tyrell, described the lockdown as a nightmare before Christmas. There has been some support for the government's decision to extend the furlough scheme, covering 80% of employee wages, until December, hours before it was due to end. Dame Carolyn Fairburn, Confederation of British Industry Director General, said extending furlough was a vital step, adding that affordable mass testing would be the game changer for businesses. She said, for many businesses, a second national lockdown marks the start of a bleak midwinter. However, Mayor of Liverpool Joe Anderson said it was, interesting, the scheme had now been extended.